Hi, this is Terry. Uh, I've got another Mark's video. What you're looking at is the an original Gerard Tin Litho Mark's Whistling Station. Uh, made by Mark's and they were pretty straightforward in the way they worked. They simply had two wires. I'll show you here on the video. Let me get the phone off the tripod. Two wires come out the back of the station the end of the station one, and went to your lock on and then back to the accessory jacks on your power pack or to a separate power pack if you, your uh, one of your, your power pack didn't have accessory jacks like mine did I had the standard marks 50 watt transformers and as you see they do not have accessory jacks so I've got this just wired into the number one transformer I have the locomotive off because the station takes, as you can see, quite a bit of power to get it to whistle. There's the sound it makes. And what you did is you would wire a push button switch like this that came with it between in, in, in line with one of the wires going back to the power pack to provide electrical power. Now inside, what you had was an open frame motor, a uh, brush and armature motor, controlling a fan, which when blown, turned, would blow air through these two holes here for your low and high tones. Uh, pr pretty much with these, uh, they're pretty bulletproof, but if something did go wrong, it usually was a result of them sitting for a long time and not needing getting proper lubrication. If you have to do anything to them with changing the brushes or anything like that, it's the same as on a Mark's locomotive. You use a needle to lift the brush spring out of the way and then take the needle and lift the brushes out. And then they can be replaced. You can, or and clean. You can use a Q-tip then to clean the brush tubes. And right here you have a hole where you can get a Q-tip in and clean the armature shaft, the armature itself. And get that in there. You can clean that armature by spinning the motor by hand over here, and that will get the armature plate clean. And then. Put the brush brushes back in, make sure the brush springs are back in the grooves, lift them back in with a needle, and should run them just fine for you. So I just want to do a quick video on that, on how this Gerard Whistling Station worked. I hope you find it informative. As always, thank you for watching.